Hello and welcome to my Super Machine review where I'm going to be going over some of the features, the best perks, and as well as give you a demo about how you can use this to generate AI art slash images. Before we continue, I do want to let you know that they currently have a very special lifetime deal. If you click the link in the description, you can learn more about that. I don't want to talk too much about it because eventually it's going to leave AppSumo and then it's going to confuse people in the future. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. So getting started with this, you know, it could be a little bit intimidating. There's a few things going on here. We have all our main icons. I'm in this one where you're probably going to spend the most amount of your time. This is generate images with our raw AI model. So what you need to do is describe the image that you want. You could add some negative prompts like what you don't want to see. There's going to be the image aspects. There's going to be some filters if you want to use them. And of course, advanced styling, which I'm not going to use because you could just simply click on these. And when you do that, it adds it right here. So if you know their style, obviously you can utilize that. It's nice that it has there if you want to use, but that's why it's called advanced. You might not be familiar with them until you actually use them. So let's start off how we would normally. Let's type in something that we want to see. And if we don't like it, we can further enhance it. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a few ways. All right. So we have a beautiful tropical island with sun shining bright. So you might not be the best at describing what you're looking to create. I'm not either. And that's totally cool. So what I want to do is click on generate image. And I'm going to talk over this just because to show you it takes like, you know, a few seconds. It says that on average, they take less than 15 seconds. And as you can see there, that was probably what four or five or six. Okay, so just some examples of what I've done previously. I am a sucker for scenery. Overall, you know, nothing great here. And this is something I want to bring up when it comes to any other type of AI art software that usually it's going to take a few tries. And usually if your input isn't the greatest, your output is isn't going to be the greatest. So how can we do that? How can we make things better? There's a few ways actually. So what we can do is click on this button right here. It says having a hard time turning your idea into a prompt the AI can use most effectively. We trained an AI model specifically to add extra tags to your idea to get better outputs from the AI. So perfect. I have a feeling if you're going to be using Super Machine, you're probably going to be using this a lot. This can save you a lot of time when it comes to thinking of what you can use for prompts. So I'm going to put that in there and just going to generate a few improvements of prompts that we can utilize. So I'm just going to copy all this, you know, there and go back here and let's paste that in there and see what we get instead. Let's generate image, give it a few seconds, and then it'll appear right here. All right. So, so far, a little bit better, a little bit gloomy, a little bit foggy. Let's go back to the other one. Let's do the second one here. And I'm not actually like reading these too much. Obviously, if you saw something in the style of the new Alien trilogy, that's interesting. So if there was something where it said like gloomy or like snowing, whatever it was, you could obviously delete it that way. Let's go down here and see what we get this time. Okay, cool. That one's a little bit more cartoonish and a little fuzzy. Let's go back over to this one. Oops, wrong one. Let's go to the last one. Let's paste that in there and click on generate image. Okay, and I like that one. That's a little bit more cartoonish, but once again, we can even play around with it a little bit more. So what we can do is put it into the Super Machine Plus to give us a little bit better idea or a better picture overall. So I'm going to stick with what we have right there. Let's click on Generate Image and scroll down. And as you can see, look at the difference with Super Machine Plus. That one is excellent. I really like that one. So you can see the difference between getting a little bit extra of a boost. So if I hover over this, it'll tell you. It says, use custom high value models in Super Machine and soon build your own. Try out some of the best custom models today. So what this pretty much allows you to do is this really improve the picture based upon the setting that you use here. Now, there are so many of them here that like literally it would take forever to go through all. I'm just going to run it one more time so you can see what it would look like. And that's definitely a beautiful one. I really like that one, especially for being art and so on and so forth. Okay. Another really cool thing that I've done previously in another video is that you can upload an image and it will give you prompts based upon what it sees. So allow me to do that very quickly and I'll show you how that works. All right. So we have a rainforest. What I'm going to do is click on reverse image prompt. And what's going to happen, it's going to give us a few prompts as in a lot of them. <laughs> okay. So it kind of describes what we're seeing. There's a waterfall coming out of a cave. You know, there's a few repeated, beautiful, stunning waterfall. And we can go back over here. We can paste that in and of course, generate image. Right. Not bad in terms of like an AI one that looks like something from Sonic the Hedgehog. If you ever played that game, you'll notice a lot of these are kind of like cartoonish and so on and so forth. It can do realistic type stuff, but I will talk about that soon. Here is another good one. So what you can do is search for ideas. So let me type something in. 
We have tropical island, island with rain coming down. So when you search for something like this, it's going to give you pictures. And what it does is that you can actually, these are beautiful here, is um, get some of these. You can just oops, click on try right here. And when you do that, it sends you back to the original section where we were. And it has all these advanced features for you, excuse me, not features, styling. So you don't have to worry about putting all this stuff in there. So we can generate image and I have a feeling this one's going to be pretty good. All right, that is beautiful. Okay, As, now let's look at some of the stuff we had here, like ultra realistic illustration, photo, monsoon on tropical island. There's just so many things going on there. Let's generate another one just to see how it looks. I really like that one. All right, very cool. And as you can see, like we started off just like searching for like something with an island. And you'll notice that as we go on, they continue to improve, improve, improve. I like that one the best. And that one is really good, the Super Machine Plus. In fact, if we copy this, where is the, uh, let's go here. Let's paste that in and let's generate image. This will like enhance it a little bit better. I've noticed the Super Machine Plus ones are very good. It could always be a little worse, obviously. But wow, that one is phenomenal. That looks very good. I like that one as well. So we have the search image. We talked about that. Let's do that one more time. Let's do something with more of like, say, a human. So we can get some human elements in here as well. All right, we have person playing guitar. Search images. There we go. <laughs> There's some funky ones in here. You know, some will be weird, uh, just to let you know, like whenever there's humans, you know, they're not going to be 100% perfect, but when they're artistic like this, I think they look really great. Like that one's very good. This is a gorilla or a silverback <laughs> playing guitar. That one's nifty. So we have a lot of cool ideas here. Let's look for something that's, let's see, what do we like here? This one's not bad. A portrait of James Hetfield from Metallica, in case you're not familiar with. Let's go there. We clicked on try, generate image. Wow, that one is very good. That looks, you know, just like James Hetfield. It's great because it looks artistic too. Obviously, his eye is like super closed there. But if you've ever seen James Hetfield, that does look like him a little bit younger. So and something else I want to show you is that when it comes down to using Super Machine, I think that just modeling what already works is going to be your best bet. And that's the cool thing, like I talked about. You can start off by entering something in bland, and there's multiple ways for you to improve it. Another way to improve it is to just, like I said, model what is already successfully working. So this is their gallery here. And if there's anything specific that you obviously like, this one actually looks pretty good. They're photorealistic females. So we can give you an idea of some of the more realistic types of things. Like these all look phenomenal here. Some will have like a little bit different in like the smile or the eyes and so on and so forth, but that's just going to come down to probably running it a few times, right? So English backpacker exploring Southeast Asia. So I'm going to copy that. Let's go here and let's prompt that in and generate image. So given the fact there's a few prompts in that, it might not be like the best, but there we go. That's more of a realistic one. Is she floating in midair? I don't know what's going on there. So sometimes when it comes to the realistic ones, like you can really get a lot of different varieties. So that's something you're going to have to keep in mind. Usually the less that you have here or the more broad that you have in terms of your prompts, the more broad the uh, actual you know output's going to be. So something like that. We also have more of these. Let's go with something like this. That is a great one. Let's put it in here. Let's generate image. And then we can take that one to the Super Machine uh, Plus section. Okay. I mean, that does exactly look like we're getting serious expression. And then let's go with the Pro one. Excuse me, not Pro, the Plus, and generate image. Okay, that is excellent. That's a very good, like, I guess you could say cartoonish draw, not cartoonish, but like an art. But if someone drew that, that is fantastic. I like that effect. I think that looks a lot better than the realistic types. But overall, that's a very quick overview and demo of this Super Machine software. I do want to kind of get to the pros and cons now. I feel like this is more about just kind of playing with it, see what you get, tweaking it, and then going from there. It's kind of like having a template. You start off by typing, typing in something that you want, say like snowy tundra. You go from there, you generate image. If you like it, you're like, mm, that can definitely be improved, which is usually the case, right? So actually that's not too bad. We can obviously search for snowy tundra too. So the second step after finding something or coming up with an idea is to maybe search for something that's similar to try and get something that you wanna replicate. Oh, that looks amazing. 
Let me just go with this. Let's do try on this one. And we found something else that looks great. Create image. See, you kind of jump around, you know, you play with it and you're not always going to get maybe the picture that you want on the first try. That is uh, very interesting. It looks like a leg with another leg, but I think it's just the side. Let's run that one again. Sometimes you will get some, you know, weird stuff that you don't expect. It is art after all. So don't feel like everything needs to be perfect. I still think that looks very beautiful. So that would be the second step, kind of getting ideas and then just going from there. There's multiple ways where you can kind of break down what you have, add to it, put it in the Super Machine Plus. And of course, you can search for other things that you can utilize as well, just to make your art and experience overall better by getting constantly new prompts. So with that being said, let's quickly talk about the Super Machine pros and cons or the likes or dislikes. In terms of the pros, the good thing about it is that you get plenty of credits, okay? And you get a great price for it. So I think it's around a thousand. Don't quote me on that when it comes to the special deal. I don't want to talk about it too much. Like I said, it'll change. But either way, like it's very hard to use all that, especially if you're really looking to create a lot of art. I think that's going to be very beneficial for you. With that comes many features. I didn't even get to cover all of these, but this one I believe is going to be still in word C. One of these right here is still being um, experimental, so they're not completely done with it. So I didn't want to go through with that, but that is going to be another way of creating stuff and getting better processes. We talked about this with the Super Machine Plus. If you're having a hard time coming up with prompts, um, I believe I did this. If not, I'll show you again. You put something in and then what happens is it creates these prompts for you that you can utilize to get better stuff. Uh, we talked about how you can put this in to get image reverse and of course searching for some just to give you more ideas. So there's plenty of features and ways for you to improve upon what you're looking to create and that's a really good thing. I think it makes it easier for you as I kind of showed in this demo and review. Also the quality can be absolutely fantastic. If you just look at the public gallery really quickly, you know, depending on what you're looking for, even like Halloween, like that's a very scary one. They have a wide variety. As you can see, some are more realistic, some are more cartoonish, some are more kids books type of things, but you're going to get a lot of different types of variety depending on what you're looking to create. And this has been my favorite Christmas and Hobbiton. In my previous video, I talked about how I saw the uh, Lord of the Rings Hobbiton area. We went there in New Zealand, and this really reminds me of it, except like a kid's book. These are just absolutely jaw dropping in my opinion. So when it comes to the pros, the quality can be absolutely jaw dropping, fantastic. On the other side, some of the dislikes, I don't know if it's more of a dislike, but something to keep in mind is that if you're looking to create like realistic humans, you might not always get the best result or it's going to take a lot longer to do. From my experience, when it comes to creating the human aspect, some of them will have like, you know, longer smiles or like one of the eyes might be closed. Let me go back over here. But you can see some of the examples when you put a little bit more time into it. You know, you add more prompts to it. You give it some more runs. You can see some of these are just fantastic overall. So that is what it is capable of. But keep in mind, you will have to run it a few more times. So those are kind of like the dislikes. Uh, the realism is there. It's just going to take you a little bit longer to do. So expect many more runs. But given the fact you're given so many credits at a good price, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal overall. So yes, in my opinion, I do believe that Super Machine is going to be worth it, especially if you're interested in creating AI slash art images and you want to pump out a lot of them based upon what your needs and wants are, whether it's for your marketing or just online business or social media, thumbnails, website, whatever it may be. So that about does it when it comes to my Super Machine review. I hope you got some value out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also have the link for that very special deal in the description down below where you can check that out. Just keep in mind it might not be around forever so you can get all the details there. Thanks again for watching. My name is James and I will see you in my next video.